Hey what's up guys it's Splosh and welcome back to another video I hope you're having a great day today Today we are going to be doing some Apex Legends But today is a different type of video Because I didn't say gameplay Which means it's a bit different Today I'm going to show you my settings For Apex Legends which I use in any of my videos And on my Apex Legends gameplay It just it, These legends uh, These settings suit me and to me only if you don't want to use these settings you don't have to this is all personal preference this is all what i do uh, and what i use much better than let's say default um controller layouts for me this is all just a personal personal preference um and guys this is only for controller players or PS4 or console players. This is all for them. PC players, you can use this, but not the controller part, um, or most of the controller part, because you don't, uh, you're playing on PC, like, why do you need it? Unless you're playing on controller on PC, that is the only way that you really want to use this. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, post notifications on. If you want to see some more of this, please let me know, because, I, I really have fun doing it. If you want to see this for, let's say, each season, um, I don't mind because obviously things change every single season and it's always a good thing to have some settings so that maybe you can take some stuff off, maybe like copy if you really, really wanted to. But um, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, to start things off, we're going to go on to gameplay. So, for Interact Prompt Style, I leave it to default. To be honest, on Compact, I don't really like it. I'm just going to go and show you guys what Compact is. So, basically, it just has the thing, like, a bit smaller, the icons. I like it default. I think it's just a bit better. Um, yeah, that's just my opinion. Button hints, I mean, I just leave it on, because why not? I used to have it off, but now I've changed my controls, which I will be showing you guys in a bit. Um, I left it on, just in case. Uh, crosshair damage feedback, I leave it with X with shield icon. Now, I don't want to leave it to off. I don't recommend it, because you don't know how much you're... Um, sorry, what you're... Uh, when you're, like, dealing damage, let's say, your core stick, and... Um, you they won't show the x so um i like to do that and then i have the shield icon because you know sometimes i just want to know if i'm tagging someone but let's say a watson fence i know what shield they've got just in case they're near me and i want to push damage numbers now some people put it to stacking floating i do not recommend off because let's say call outs it's not very good because you just don't know what you're hitting them for uh so i put it to both um but anything's anything is good really like you can put it to uh floating or stacking i don't really mind but i think floating would be better um oh, sorry stacking would be better because you don't have to do all the um maths uh like 11 plus 17 whatever i don't care um so i put it to both just in case you know um just in case i get that one extra hit ping capacity uh i don't want to get my like i don't want anything like pings covering my screen so i put it to faded just in case obituaries you got to put it to on because you've got to put it to on like you've got to see who in the lobby is actually dying mini map flotation i put this to off uh i used to have it on i actually i had it on like last video uh so i haven't uploaded in a while by the way um but mini map flotation i've switched it to off a few like a week ago um so yeah it's um i just leave it off auto sprint i put that to on i don't know why i'm used to auto sprint i've played any battle royale i played it's always auto sprint has got to be on um double tap sprint i don't know why but when i switch it to on it like when i just want to move it will leave me going for like another few seconds not when actually double tapping uh, my sprint button so i leave this to off it's just a thing as well like i don't really do incoming damage feedback i put this to 2d i used to have this 3d um but now i put it to 2d and it works so much better for me for some reason taking damage closes death box or crafting menu i put this to off because 
like that's the perfect time when you're looting for example or like you're in a battle and you you don't have time to heal you have to go in a death box and even if you're switching from um red to gray you've got to armor swap and taking that damage doesn't matter as much so you got to switch this to off it's so good hop up hop up uh i put this to off i don't i don't really need it um so i put it to off streamer mode i'm not a streamer i don't do anything like that so streamer mode is for all those streamers out there anonymous mode i put this to disabled um sometimes i put it to enabled in some videos but very rarely uh performance display i put this to on um so i can see if i'm lagging for example i can see why i'm lagging how much ping i've got how what my in and out is club invites i put this to enabled but sometimes i get spammed with club invites um i don't know if it's something to do with my videos or something like that but i leave this to enabled because it doesn't really happen that much anymore colorblind mode i put this to tritinopia uh this really depends on your type of your health to be honest, like what your colorblind is. Uh, I'm not colorblind, um, but I put this to uh, Tritonopia. It just seems brighter because like when I do this, it, I just don't like it that much. It, yeah, it just seems a bit brighter um, and I can see more when I put it to Tritonopia. Detronopia and Protonopia just don't really like that. Subtitles, I put this to on for my videos only um but most of the time i switch it to off but for my videos if there's anybody like you know struggling to hear or something like that i just put this on just in case uh subtitle size if you do have this on subtitle size normal enable accessible chat features is off um yeah i just don't really know what this is <laughs> like <laughs> uh convert incoming voice to chat text is off I don't need it. <laughs> I, don't, I just want to hear what my teammates are saying. Uh, button layout. This is one, obviously this is for controller players, um, but my button layout. So I would recommend you either put this as button puncher or you put this to ninja. Ninja is very good and button puncher is very good. Um, but I put this to customize because I'm stupid. And yes, my controls are very very weird um but it just when i'm playing this just feels comfortable for me switching weapons with r1 i don't like bringing my whole thumb up to triangle or putting my finger down to triangle just press r1 it's so easy and then tactical ability where you don't i i main race so i don't really need to like take it off the stick i know the main thing is l1 but that's for my ping and i just like this this is my prefer uh like prefer for controller presets it's just much easier for me sprint i don't really use that much except when i'm trying to wall jump um yeah uh stick layout who puts it to southpaw legacy or legacy southpaw <laughs> uh so i put this to default interact reload but slash reload button i put this to tap to use and reload you don't want that delay when you want to reload or use it's so good where you just have to tap to use or reload it's so much better um now bear in mind with these um with my controller preset i have back buttons so my jump and my crouch is my back button so left is crouch and my right is jump so it's so much easier when you have it to ho uh, to hold um i wouldn't recommend toggle unless you're sticking it to r3 if your crouch button is r3 then i would consider using toggle because you don't really want to be holding r3 maybe when you're in a fight you're gonna be struggling with your aim because you're pressing holding r3 aim button i put this to hold toggle it just doesn't seem right so i put this to hold i remember i used to use toggle for um fortnite back in the day but now I, I now i use it to hold survival slot button i don't really inspect that much so i leave this to on because why should i i not l2 r2 button dead zones i put this to none you don't want that delay if you put this to max high or moderate then you have that delay and if i have none and you have max 
there is a likelihood I'm winning that fight if we hit the same amount of shots. Um, it's just, it's just a fact. Like, you got that delay. I'm barely pressing R two right now, and I'm shooting. Whereas with Max, you really need to press that thing down all the way. So yeah, that that's what I don't like. Um put this to none again menu cast speed i would recommend you put this around 50 percent um but obviously it starts with about 25 somewhere around this but i put it to like 50 percent it just seems better um but you don't want it too slow that you can't be like you know armor swapping you can't be doing that stuff with a slow menu card speed but you don't want it too high that you are all over the place and stuff like that because you don't want to be misclicking especially when you're in a fight and you've got no space in your backpack you need to just get something out of your backpack quickly let's say you need i don't know shield bat something like that look sensitivity i set this to six this i used to play seven now i play six um i know it's a bit weird uh my look sensitivity, uh, my sorry, ADS sensitivity is four, but I also use pro optic settings. These are the pro optic settings I use. Um, I don't really use four to ten that much. Uh, I only use six and ten when I'm using a quaver, and that's about it. I don't use anything above th uh, three normally, not even two, because that I just don't use them. I usually i use one because my favorite optic is the hcog um response curve i put this to steady but i sh i feel like i should put it to classic um but yeah i put this to steady it just feels better for me look dead zone i put this to small it just like when i switch this i have stick drift it just it it's annoying so i just put it to small so i don't have the stick drift movement dead zone i put this to small again it just gives me stick drift inverted look i put this to off vibration off and that's it for the controller for video i put the brightness to about 50 uh like halfway or a tiny bit higher just like this um just seems better field of view i wouldn't recommend 110 but i put it to 110 i would recommend around 12 maybe one four but i put it to 110 i'm just used to it uh, let me show you the difference i hate 70 all the way down like you can barely see anything yeah and the recoil control it's hard to like actually do um and also you can't see much let let's say like this okay so let let's do this turn it all the way up you can see so much more. You can see the blooming wingman and I can only see the flatline earlier. Uh, so yeah, that's why I like um, a big, good field of view. Uh, sprint, uh, sprint view shake, I put this to minimal. I don't wanna be sprinting and I have this shake on my camera. It, it just feels annoying. It feels weird as well. So yeah, um, it, it's just a bit, a bit weird. Um, I don't like it. Uh, now this is all just like, this is all something to do with your volume. Um, I put master volume to 50%. I put, okay, I should probably put this down. I don't know why I have it so high. Uh, sound effects volume to 100% and my music is so high for some reason. Um, sound effects volume, I put this to 100%. I don't wanna be not hearing no footsteps. I want to hear footsteps. Dialogue volume, I put this to 50%. It's not that big of a deal, especially with subtitles. Music volume, I put this to 70. Lobby music volume, I put this to 70. They're not that important. I, I kind of want to hear the music in the game because what's the point of the music then? Disable voice chat, I put this to on. Uh, sorry, on. Off, I put this to off because why would I not want to hear my teammates call it, uh, calls out, call outs like, it's a bit weird and then again this was on gameplay but convert incoming voice chat to voice chat voice to chat text i put this to off again because that's that that's like the right way i just want to hear my teammates i don't need to put to chat text uh but anyways guys that will be the video for today if you guys enjoyed be sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel post notifications on if you want to see more of these random 
settings videos for each season or something like that please let me know in the comments i will do that and i'll see you on the next one peace out